to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Three Slurpees today, James. Ooh, it's 7 Eleven Day. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Stupid. I've I've never heard of this before. It was this is this this year or I think it's the era of every day has to be a day. A day now, right? That's how we get through life without killing ourselves, right? Today's donut day. Or pet your dog day. It's National Donut Day. Yeah. Yeah. Wash your dong off in uh-huh. uh in the dishwasher day, you know? Yeah. That's what that's what it's starting to feel like. Everybody's mm-hmm. gotta have a day. Yeah. Uh, this is my day to have Fritos in the bathtub <laughs> day. And I don't have to go to school. Right, right. And it's just I don't have to go to community college day. Like, right. I'm I'm over your days, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's July 11th. It's always been July 11th. Yeah. I've never heard of 7-Eleven day. It's hot as blazes. That's about it. You know, if you want to go cook a, an egg on the street day, it's July 11th. Right. That's what, that's what day that is. No vacuuming your house day. Yeah. On it. Up. Oh, shave that's your dog day. That's what I celebrated day. today. On it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to Hallmark and pick up my. You know, no secretaries wear shoes day card for them. Mm-hmm. Free free coffee and juice at Whole Foods day. Yeah. <laughs> I celebrated that today, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I've given those fuckers enough money, okay? You I was, have. I was holding them in plain sight. I was holding them in plain sight right before her. <laughs> and, you know, it was up to her to make sure that those were paid for. It's not my job to do that. Jesse was an accidental shoplifter today. And look, I don't we'll know. We'll say accidental. I don't know. We'll say accidental. If from you keeping. can, was it on purpose? Look, I don't want to get arrested, and I don't want to condone thievery from anywhere else besides Whole Foods. Sure, but you felt like be. you would earn that that coffee. Yeah, I'd been there two days before. Yeah. Thinking about that bill, I go. I'm just going to take these two things. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and again, I did not take them or hide them. No, you didn't hide them. I was holding them like this right next to you, was I not? It was one of those things where before we came in the studio and you put them down, I go, hey, man, because I paid, I paid for a, a and our bill tab at Whole like, Fill. And I was like, hey, did you pay for that mommy juice? The whole bill was as much as a mommy juice. And you looked at me and you're like, I don't know. And I go, I just acted okay. like, oh, I, uh, like that. Look, I'm not going to fault you. We've given thousands of dollars to Whole Foods, so, eh. You want a mommy juice? Take it. Take a mommy I juice. I pay your salary. That's what I like to say to them. Yeah. That's what, that's what my dad does. And there's stupid shit where it's just like, over. oh, yeah, I'm an Amazon Prime member. Awesome. Can you open up your phone, go into your account, find that barcode, hold up the line, mm-hmm. get fucked, rinse, wash, repeat. That's the cycle of. And uh, last time I was there, I went through all of that and I saved 35 cents, yep. which is the most that I've that's been taken off. And I sure. thought, oh, here we go. Here we go, Bezos. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Paying for that 35 divorce. 35 cents. 35 yeah. cents at a time, you piece of shit. Man. Uh, that's, by the way, that, that divorce just finalized. Good for her. Yeah. She got, <laughs> what was it, $33 billion? Good, good for her. When the divorce cleared, she ended up being like, what, the, the 22nd richest person in the world or something crazy like that? Sure. Uh, and then sure. she gave... Half of it to charity, just to spite him. Oh, so you know that that charity that's I uh, love it. Zuckerberg and the uh, the rest of those Zuck and those fucks. That's a great. That's a What's great it name. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. Bill Melinda Gates. Yeah, I I'd like to. If he had a band, though, I, I would really like to recommend the name Zuck and those fucks. I know, like it as the rest of it. Um, I like it. Anyway, she she donated half her sh- shit to that because he wouldn't. He would never join up with that campaign just to say, hey, hey, Jeff, fuck you. Hey, Jeff, fuck you. The weirdest part for me is as soon as it was finalized, he was out and about with that lady friend that he was hooking up with. It's amazing that that um, endured because that's the only thing, you know, I worry about starting something up, you know. 
Sure. Because are they going to be there through the whole divorce proceedings? Well, here's the deal with that. So it's Patrick Weitzel's now ex-wife. Who? Uh, the, that Bezos the is gal. with. Yeah. yeah. So she's used to being with like the most powerful dudes on the planet. Because I, I would like say she'll this. Wait. She's I like, would I'll say wait. Patrick Weitzel's probably the most powerful in Hollywood. And he's a rad guy. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I, look, Bezos is... More right. powerful. And I heard he's got a fucking huge dick. He's a shorter guy, so I believe that. I, he's yeah. got a, yeah, I heard he's got a hog on him. Yep. So she's used to that whole shit. This one could last simply because she was in that Hollywood life for fucking 18 years or whatever that was with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they split up. So uh, I think, you know, I think if it was a waitress at Cabo Wabo, in Vegas mm-hmm. and I'd be like well probably not gonna work out but right. she's old Hollywood she's part of the, the game where she's, she's just like old, very cool which I like yeah so she I, is he, an she, old gal she's this is 50. the first time in the history of, of men that he cheated on his wife with a, an older girl with someone older right yeah. yeah is she older she may be the same age no uh, there's hope there's hope for older women yet I mean Bezos is is out there Cool. Just doing HGH with a fat hog. Grannies. Yeah. Granny. Yeah. What up, Ooh, Granny? What up, Granny? But uh, yeah, they were together right after that. That thing. That finalized. So you know. Well. It is what it is. The heart wants what the heart wants. It really does, know? and it wants Life that, that short, way. bald, fat dong mm-hmm. and thirty-five cents off at Whole Foods. Yep. I wonder if Bezos pulls out his Amazon Prime, or is he Amazon Prime? Like, hey, just Retina scan me. You know, when he checks out of Whole Foods, why don't you just go ahead and scan my retina? And, I don't think uh, he checks out anywhere. I think he does. You think? I think, yeah. I, I, I think he goes in occasionally. He's just like, all right, I own this shit. Hey, what's up, man? You know what a power move that is? Just to walk in at Whole Foods and be like, hey, what's up, man? I fucking own you. But you know those, like, things, drones and stuff that they're testing out? You don't think he just has one? Like no, same I don't. Day, no, I, 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 hour I think delivery from anywhere. Look, if you get caught cheating in the manner in which he got caught cheating, clearly he does regular shit mm-hmm. where it's just like, bro, you couldn't have told your pilot to fake that. That uh, on board report or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. they call it. Like, come on, dude. Come on. That's sloppy, brother. You're Bezos. You don't need to tell people who's on the fucking plane. Yeah. You're bigger than the FAA. You're building spaceships, for Christ's sakes. Yeah. But, you know, I think part of him wanted to get caught. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the, and the other one was, uh, uh, ironically, because we just talked about this fucking two days ago, speaking of money, was they had Forbes' highest paid celebrities of last year. Okay. Number one. Who do you got? Carrot Top. Nope. Uh, uh, he is. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Probably four twenty-eight. You think? I don't know. Gosh. Is he still doing his oh, shit yes. with boxes in Vegas? Oh yes. Okay. Good. Big in the prop comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World. Still going with that, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I hmm. don't know who. I'll save you. Okay. Taylor Swift is was the highest paid celebrity last year. You know what her figure was? Hmm. One hundred seventy-five million. She made $175 million. Her tours grossed over $200 million. If you're going to fucking bitch about that $300 million deal that Scooter Braun bought your catalog for, all you had to do was take your last two years' salary and buy back the fucking catalog. But I told you she was just using it to fuel her Well, fan she still base, is. Which, so yeah. last night, she goes on Amazon Prime for a live concert mm-hmm. and sings, you know, Shake It Off. Right. And makes it real pointed towards Scooter Braun. And it was just like, hey, lady, could have just used your last two years salary and, uh, and bought it back. But it's more uh, lucrative for her to energize her fan base with the things that they're used to, which is. I don't think it is. Getting, she's getting, you know, fucked over by some dude. We need to get behind her. Six, six albums worth of hits. I don't think is worth it. And the more and more I thought about it, because then you have licensing rights, right? If I'm Scooter Braun, I go and license Taylor Swift music for diarrhea commercials. Like just having a hard time. Right. Shake it off. Shake it off. 
I knew you were. Yeah, yeah. Trouble when you walked, walked in. in. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. I don't know where to put the potato salad. Also, I poopied my panties. <laughs> shake it off. Shake it off. And there's a huge picnic out there. Mm-hmm. If I were if I were Scooter Braun, I would go for diarrhea commercials, mm-hmm. all of it. Uh, and then I'd go straight to herpes commercials. Herpes, yep. for sure. I'd go to... A tampon. Oh, yeah, tampon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A leaky tampon. And I'll write your name. Boom, 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 boom. It's a blank space. And I'll write your name, write it in blood. No, that would be tampons. a bad blood. You missed that one. Ah, that's it, Come yeah. Come on, brother. You're better than that. I am. Because you know we got bad, bad blood. blood. Do you have heavy flow periods? Where you're just gushing and out. Have problems. Yeah, and then it's all the girls at once just holding their tampons in the air above their heads, Hanging. like like Che Guevara. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh man, Bloody. yeah. Because you know we got, got bad, bad blood. blood. Hey, you and me can both. Uh, you know, you stuff one right up your. All right, your cooch. now we are at the limit. No, both we're not even close to it. And period. So if I'm talk. if I'm Scooter Braun, I would start reaching out to those companies. And I've thought about this for years, by the way. Because you ever hear one of your favorite songs and then you hear it in a commercial and it fucks you over over for the rest of your Mm -hmm. life? Um, One of my, like as a kid, right? I remember this song, I'll Stop the World and Melt With You. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stop the world and melt with you. They put it in a fucking double Whopper with cheese commercial. Right. And to this day, whenever I hear that song, all I think about is is two Whopper patties, you know. Yep. Docking dicks in the middle of the night. I'm like, right. God damn it, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, s- uh, the smoke on the on the water was another one. Smoke on the Whopper. They did that, oh, and I was nice. like, Fuck you, dude. Clever. Yeah. Clever. So if right? I'm if I'm a uh, scooter, scoot skis, I start going down that that I catalog. Think he makes more from this publicity on those. Than Who? anything else. I, look, it's the licensing rights because you can license this shit for right. for whatever you want, right? Uh, so let's go through her her songs real quick and what you can and do with what these. you could do with them. Yep. Okay, you belong with me. You belong with me. Condoms. I want to fuck. I want magnums. Great. You belong with me, but first put this on your huge cock. Magnums. You know. Right. Boom. Right. Taylor Swift. I would do that with like a tinier, sensitive condom. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, you would. It's something a little more dainty. It's something a little more dainty, a tiny, thin, Yeah. you know, ultra sensitive one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Or a go. life alert bracelet. There you you belong with me. And then having a, a girl dressed as her falling down two flights of stairs. Yep. You belong with me. I need, I'm, I'm down and I need help. I'm in the corner of Broadway and Six. Uh, you belong with me. Um, I don't want to live forever. Huge song. I don't want to live forever. From Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. I don't want to live that forever. That would be ice cream, I think. And just a gal <laughs> on the couch crying. Yeah. Right? Just eating, eating ice cream. Or yeah. maybe it's like a... Or a, sui- a, a you shot do- from the inside of a freezer, right? And yep. just the door opening. Or you she do keeps closing it. Suicide prevention commercials. There you go. I don't want to live forever. If you don't want to live forever, call this number now. 1-800, yeah. whatever that logic song was. Sure. Um, that, like, that would be a great one. Just start boning over her entire catalog. I knew I knew you were trouble. Yeah. I knew you were trouble when you That's walked adult in. That's depends, I think. <laughs> right? But like the thin, sexy ones <laughs> that they're doing a lot of commercials for now. <laughs> I knew you were trouble when I saw that pad mm-hmm. right in the front of your pants. When I saw those. Yep. When you were, you were just going to go ahead and fill that pad up mm-hmm. with urine, endless gallons of urine. Uh I don't know if the new song is on there. I don't think it is, right? The new song, what? I don't think the new album is part of that deal. No. I think that was the new. Yes. Uh, look what look what you made me do. <laughs> oh, now what do you what you reckon? Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Babies spilling apple juice on the carpet. Look what right. you made me do, and the babies are angry about it. Right. Um. Again, almost all of these songs, though, you could slide right in a. 
uh, a diarrhea commercial. Mm-hmm. Look what you made me do. Oh, totally. And then you're just holding up your underpants to somebody. You did this. Yep. Yeah. You made me do this. Yeah, looking at a, a taco stand or, mm-hmm. or whatever made you do shit it. your pants. Yeah. Gosh, uh, we've got to be getting to our limit. Not on even the, close. On the, sh- on the shit talk. Not even close, Shades. Okay. As a matter of fact, because of the hurricane, we haven't even started yet. We haven't even started yet. Um, delicate. I don't remember that one. Is that was that a big one? Nah. Moving on. Twenty two. Twenty two. Sing me a bar. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling, feeling twenty two. Yeah. Dan's favorite um, for that song is uh, for veterans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dan Dan oh. Holloway sitting off off screen. You're right. Jack Mandeville that is likes Jack that. Jack Mandeville. Yeah. Hero. But look, hero. She, Jack she, she probably wouldn't license her fucking music to any veterans, anyways. Now's your chance. Right. Great. There you go. You had a song Scooter. called. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck, man. Fifteen. That's right. I mean, she's got millions and millions of hits. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. Back to December. Ready for it. That song. Ready for it. Uh-huh. Man. Out of the woods. I think that would be a lube commercial. What's that? Ready for it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just ready for it? Mm-hmm. Lube. Astroglide. Are you ready for it? Or, or begging. Or uh, No, it's called begin again. I thought it was begging again. I was like, man, that's a perfect one for lube. Begging again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did something bad. That's a song, too. Oh, that's a dog. That's a dog treat yeah. or a dog collar that shocks them. Yeah. <laughs> I did something bad, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dog yeah. just yeah, on all fours, just oh, oh, roll, rolling over, and well, you just keep pressing it, it. First, it poops on the carpet. Yeah, in the commercial, first poops in the carpet. Songs going, songs going. Yep, and then you shock it into Oof. passing out. <laughs> Yeah, so top four hits in her career. Shake It Off is number one. Yep. I Knew You Were Trouble. Blank Space. Love Story. That's right. It's a love story. I remember that fucking video. I guess I'm that not elaborate an video in the, in the castle. Oh, with that, yeah. The good looking dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that I one, I mean, look, put, put it in a rallies commercial. You there know? you go. It's a love story, and you're just, you're just eating chili fries out of an old plastic Mets helmet or rallies commercial, you know, mm-hmm. start doing it in local markets to really, yeah, really yeah, piss yeah, people yeah. off where it's yeah. like, yo and man, for like nothing for pennies. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly like 30 bucks. Yeah. So her royalties are like 30 uh, cents on that. We were just like, Hey man. So we put send it in that, this, uh, those checks individually, a local rallies commercial in flushing New York with a, you know, and a chili cheese fries in Flagstaff. Yeah, and a and a tiny plastic Mets helmet. That would be the greatest thing that he could ever do. And I hope you do. I look, Scooter probably listens. You know? Oh, yeah, avid. So if you're out there, buddies, we're buddies. Start firing away at this shit. It would be the best. Um, start putting it in, in uh, the Guy Fieri. What, what are the, what's the supermarket game where they're running through the aisles? Guy's Grocery Game. Yeah. Oh, by the way, they're bringing Supermarket Sweet back, which. That was my jam, dude. Was it? Oh yeah. I'm okay with all oh, these. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I love that show. <laughs> oh yeah. Calm down. I can't get enough of that supermarket sweep. Um, I'm not into these old uh, shows really? coming back. You ever nah. blaze up and watch Supermarket Sweep or like Young and the Restless? Or... If I blazed up, I'm sure I'd watch all oh. kinds of things. Oh yeah, you would. Grab that kielbasa. Grab it. Grab that kielbasa. I bet it's, I bet it's 4 69 You start guessing prices and shit. I don't know. Big fan of that. Yeah, 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 Big yeah. Big fan yeah, of that yeah. show. And it's coming back. Mm-hmm. So yeah. buckle up. Problem is host is dead, so they hired a new guy, by the way. Okay. So anybody else watching at home who's a diehard uh, S Market Sweep fan like myself. Sure. Just know you're getting a new host because the old one is kicked the buckets. I just like newer stuff. Yeah, yeah, and eh, too. What happened to the double dare shit? By the way. Oh yeah, I mean, I I guess that was done. They tried it with that. Uh, it was good. Kasoji, what was her name? Uh, who knows? She's a little fucking superstar. That she girl. was really good. She's I'm gonna a be, YouTuber. I'm gonna be realsies with you. Um, 
The kid liked it. I, I like the fact that Homeboy was back. Yeah. Um, What's his name? Mark David Chapman? Mark Summers. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Mark David Chapman. I didn't like was, that they uh, put Baby in a Corner. The guy who killed you know John mean? Lennon. So sorry oh, for that. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry for, for that, that, Mark Summers. Summers. Really want to ap- apologize for right. confusing you with the man who killed one of the most beloved figures in music history. Not beloved to me. Well, to a lot of people. He was an awful nightmare. Eh. Horrible person. James, he wrote Imagine. So I think we can get over it. And nope. he wrote another one. Don't make me say it. Well, right? we're not going to because we're not going <laughs> to. I'm not allowed to beep that out. I'm not allowed but, to say it. But he wrote a lot of things. He yeah, wrote a lot of things he, that he were. Wrote, um, he wrote Imagine. Not and, uh, great. You know. So, um, I, I think I think we're good on your slander of John Lennon. We all Lennon. know John Lennon was a fucking horrible piece of shit. I'm not going to go into it anymore. Yeah, we do. We do. Imagine. I, you know what's funny though? Like, did you you know how many people name their kids after Beatles around the world? Oh God, yeah. A dead serious. You know no that, right? No Ringos. Notice that? No. You're right. There is no Ringos. <laughs> there is no Ringos Not whatsoever. Not a little Ringo running around. I met a Mexican boy named Juan Lennon. And Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you're stupid, first of all. Secondly, you're lying. But I like it. Uh, this is my son, Juan Lennon. <laughs> oh, come on, stop, Juan. And he just looks at me and he's, imagine all the people. The people. <laughs> That's the only thing we're allowed to sing from that because the Beatles will come after us. Oh, yes. They are horrible people. Paul McCartney. Here's the thing. If you sing more than six seconds of a Beatles song, Paul McCartney sends his ex-wife, the one with the, the missing leg after yep. you. Yep. Yep. Uh, what's her name? Heather Mills. Yeah. She'll come after you with that leg and just kind of chop on down, you know? Yep. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the New Orleans thing, so I want to I wanna give this, uh, the audience a heads up. We're recording the show on Thursday. Yeah. This is our Sunday night drop. So if something fucked up happens over the weekend. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. We, yeah. we don't know. We yeah. don't know. So the reason why I bring that up, if something happens to Heather Mills, let's say she has passed away. I don't want you to think, let's say she passes away over the weekend. I don't want you to think that we made fun of her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. God forbid. Well, uh, look, maybe she's in New Orleans right now. Who knows? Maybe she's trying to hook up with the Rolling Stones. Maybe she's on a, a, a life raft right now with that wooden leg, just paddling down f- you know, Bourbon Street. Yeah. Just uh, whoa, trying to find Mick's hotel because they are there. So I got I got a quick update for you. OK, so what are and what are you and I going to do? Are we just going to act like keep going until they tell us to stop going or are we canceling? Don't in our know. Minds? I, right now it's utter chaos. Um, but I will say this. There, there was an update. The Rolling Stones, apparently their stage is so elaborate and since the, the they have that, to be there way before. Yes. And, and it was indoors. So they said it's set up. So I, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, there's a fucking hurricane bar- barreling toward the city right now. Or so. a tropical storm. But yeah, it, whatever. Either way, it's we've flooding. been through these. Right. So uh, they're there. It's all set up and they've got to be. I guess the stage and all that shit takes uh, three and a half to four days. They said to set up depending upon where it is. Um, and then they've got to be in Jacksonville by Friday. So um, whether or not it's, it's going to go down or what's going to happen, I have no idea. But the band is there. And the band's been there for days, I guess because they like New Orleans. And they were just chilling out. And Who doesn't? Ex- exactly. So I don't know what's going to happen. But don't be surprised if you're a New Orleanian. God, I nailed that, didn't I? Whenever I really just... Get something like that that rolls off the tongue. I'm proud of myself. If you're a new Orleanian, okay, and I'm going to say this right into camera, and if you don't subscribe to our video show on YouTube, I will cut your throat in front of your dog. If you are a new Orleanian, look for Heather Mills and her fucking leg just going down the middle of Bourbon Street looking for Mick, <laughs> you know? Because let's face it, there's only, there's only one other person bigger than Sir Paul McCartney in this life. And that's uh, Mick. It's Mr. Jagger. Yeah. So, just look for her out there. Eh. Yeah, paddling with just with a, a yellow Paddington Bear raincoat on. Yes. Like, you know, the hat, the whole shit. Mm-hmm. Just looking for me. Mick! <laughs> Mick! It's, it's Heather! Waving, <laughs> waving at him with the, with the leg, trying to look for his hotel on Bourbon Street. Mick! It's me! <laughs> look out the window! We're the biggest part of England, you know? Uh-huh. We could, you could fuck both. You know, right? You could have had both. Uh-huh. I could have had both rock stars. Like the two biggest people of all time, the two biggest musicians of all time, were out of London. Mm-hmm. Paul McCartney, that are alive. 
I scratched that. Sure. That are alive. Paul McCartney and, and Mick Jagger. And I think Heather Mills is trying to trying to shake off that leg, dude. Shake it off. Shake it off. And then just go after Mick. I think she's somewhere in New Orleans right now. Conspiracy theory, maybe. Maybe. Uh, also want to address some of the listeners from the, the previous show where I said we want to go looking for the dead bodies that were exposed. They said that is a myth and that is not real. That, that I, 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 you guys are incorrect. Josh Harkis went on that tour and he saw the fucking arm. So, oh, okay. If for whatever reason, none of this is canceled and it's all a fucking Well, myth. I think we, the, we at least can't go, oh, that would be a perfect time to see the bodies floating up. Yes. Huh? And that's what somebody else said. So somebody else wrote in. They said, look, with all of this rain... Dude, you know how fucking many bodies are going to get washed up? And I was so like, So what do cool. we do? Drive there? So who's lying? I, I, no, we're not fucking driving in New Orleans. That's, that's like 18 hours or something crazy. It's 12. Uh, is it? Uh, <laughs> about 12 hours too many. You know what I'm saying? Sure. The studio is a fucking five mile drive and I'm over that yeah. already. So uh, I don't know. But if we do end up going somehow with the rain and all this other shit, if I can get that info from, from Josh... We can see some bodies floating down the streets, Jabes. That'd be worth it. Kill two birds with one stone. Nailed it. Boom. You're killing me there? <laughs> no. Wait. You've always wanted to find a body. Yes. Boom. You Catch see that? Body. I see Rolling Stones. You know how happy we would be on Sunday night? Yeah, we would both get exactly what we want in yeah. life. Yeah. You see the Rolling Stones. And you, in, in a and life where to... you can't always get what you want. I mean, you can, you can try sometimes. <laughs> Boom! I'm in flags. But really? I will say this. If we find a body, right? Uh-huh. And th- again, this is all hypothetical. Her- hurricane's barreling toward it. I'm sure the flight sure, will be canceled. Sure, it's not going to happen. We're just any, having a bit of fun. Any sack. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I found a body barreling toward me. Sure. Not to be morbid or gross. So I hope, and I hope this doesn't gross you out. If it's a female, I'm going to cut off the leg and give it to Heather Mills. Sew that right back on. Um, cause technically it's probably a cadaver at that point and yep. just let her figure it out. You know, yep. I'm sure gangrene and all that stuff will mm-hmm. gangrene. I think she's above it at this point. So, uh, just kind of, kind of figuring my ways he's out sees through that. Um, any hues, we got some sponsors, James, who put this whole shit wagon to be on the air. Uh, first and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. <laughs> Sleep so good, it's scary. Unless uh, you have a baby. Unless you have a baby. Sleep as good as you can. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the best sleep you will get, even if you have a baby. That's what I think. Yeah. That's what I think. That's what I've been told. Mm-hmm. That's what I've been told by uh, many mothers. You know? Yeah. What are you, who are you What's talking up? to? <laughs> I like to hang out in mothers groups on Facebook. Oh, we know. I belong to a bunch of private mothers groups on Facebook. Nothing gets me off more than that. Sure. What if that was my thing and you found out about it? That you just go on to. Like you were like, Jesus Christ, I'm subscribed to 67 private mothers groups. And I've just been leaving and messages. And you've been like fake, being like a fake mom in there? Yeah. And just being like, oh my gosh, I, I go skin to skin every night with my baby. Oh. <laughs> and he's not responding. LOL. Gentle parenting. Yeah, what do I do? Um, wouldn't that be the creepiest shit ever? Really creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's yeah. creepier than these savings, though, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, go there now. Get yourself a mattress. Right now, the 4th of July sales are still going on. They're still gangbanging a little rock with these things. Get yourself a mattress. Uh, those pillows. A little ghostbed pillow. I bet you Heather Mills puts her leg on one of those pillows. We can't be doing this the whole time. Uh, or? We, we can and we can't. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. If you're military first responder, you get 15% off forever, forever at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And as always, 36 months, no interest pay as you go program. No one's offering that shit. Uh, so go there now and get a mattress, son. If you're a regular civilian, that, dude, they're, they've got a fucking truck ton of deals on there. Uh, yeah. Everybody's buying shit from them. And good, they man. They have something for everyone. Good on them. 
Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Strikeforce Energy is the premier energy drink in all of the biz. All of the land. All of the land. All of the land. The flashlights. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Columbus. Strikeforce. <laughs> Strikeforce. <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> the Penta. The Santa Maria, all of the lights, all of the lights. Four amazing flavors, <laughs> lemon, grape, orange, and a ridge. Stupid. Throw a little ridge on that gooch. Um, what? Pop on out to the town. I heard it soaks into your skin, somebody said. If you uh, put it on your taint? Yep, put it on your taint. It'll soak right in your skin, and it'll last longer than five-hour energy. No carbs and no sugars, too, so your taint's not going to get fat. A lot of people are worried about having an overweight taint these days. Mm. and uh, Yeah. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them at all, but uh, Strike Force knew that. They knew what they were doing when they made this fucking thing. I don't know why I had to slip into a Bradley Cooper there as I adjusted my mic. Whenever I adjust my mic, I got I to slip on into it, man. I got to, my ears, uh, I got to, my, my ooh, ooh. Uh, I feel like I'm on stage. God damn it, I love that movie. I know I talk about it all the time. So I love good. it as much as StrikeForceEnergy.com. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Ships everywhere in the entire world, including Europe. Oh, how European. Oh. You really must go. Uh, it's gorgeous sh- this time of year. Uh, it's lovely. Oh. Uh, it's real hot. It's real hot there. I was watching Wimbledon this morning. They're fucking They're fine. sweating bullies. They're fine. Over there. Go to strikeforceenergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Last but not least, this is what you came for. J. Abraham Lincoln, what do you got for us? What's the company? You're fucking kidding me. StraightRazors.com. Uh, You're supposed to say that. StraightRazors.com, James. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Give it to me. <laughs> Stop. Don't talk in my space. In your backswing? Give it to me. Oh, you rock it! Oh, I had a little spice on it. Yeah. When you look at those Asian menus and it's got like three peppers on the end of it, that's oh, yeah, what that yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. four, but it was a three or for sure. It had a little meat on that bone. Uh, StraightRazors.com is uh, everything you need in this life to be a real man. You can, you can shave. You can cut people's throats open. You know what you, you can, can do go- with a straight razor? <laughs> cut a leg off a cadaver. That's real, by the way. That what? You can cut a leg off a cadaver with a straight razor. I'm sure They're you sharp as fuck. Yeah. The best blades in the biz. The reason why the I look so gonna baby tough. fresh yeah. every day. And our producer, Jamie, was like, no lie, before we got on here, he's like, dude, how old are you? What are you, like eight years younger than me? You're right, I am, Jamie. I did am. you say that, Jamie? You did. And I go, and I said, look, no one's going to be more pissed off about that than Jesse because everybody says it all the time. The only reason is because of the straight razors. Right. So uh, go there. It takes about a day and a half off of your shaving. That's how amazing the, raz- the razors are. And again, you're pregnant in this life. Don't. Yep. Got to shave that. Do Boosh. not do it. Um, but Boosh. seriously, guys, if you do have a beard and you're going to kiss a gal, a bruiser, a freight train, use that beard oil. Yeah. Because it will. Um, Chafe. Yeah. Chafe and around if you're the going sides. Beard, if you're going beard to beard. Right, Jamie? Is yeah. Beard to beard. Beard to beard. Down, down, We're going to need a low. lot of oil. Yeah. You know what beard to beard is, right? Okay. So it's either two. I wasn't two... talking about that. Oh, I you were. I was talking about two homosexual Men. bears. Got you. Yeah. I was talking about a man going down on a woman going beard to beard. Oh. Some people call it a clam beard. Yeah. A lot, look, a lot of people out there are like, oh, man, my, it's, it's me and my lady in her clam beard again. Right. Shave it up. StraightRazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. And lastly, you got two days left to pre order Matt Best's book that is signed by him. Thank you for my service. I got the pleasure of writing this book. I can tell you how fucking funny it is, and it's going to change lives. It's going to change your life, Jabes. It's definitely going to change my life. You haven't read it. You haven't read it yet. Uh, you're waiting for the uh, hardback to come in. Yes. Uh, that feels good, no? Ever talked about I that like guy to before? Read it like in a real. You do in a real in a real book form. You don't like uh, a word, a Microsoft Word doc doc. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quit sending me the grocery list in uh, Excel. 
I don't need a spreadsheet for my grocery list. Stop sending it in Excel and then right. have me check it off Google for you. Google Sheets. Yeah, because you do that a lot. I'll get these <laughs> messages from you and, and Word Excel that's just No, like, you don't. Yeah, and they're like, it'll be a grocery list and be like, give, no, me, you don't. give me wet ham. And I'm like, <laughs> and then check it, check the box, and then you got it, and screenshot it back to me. And I'm like, what the fuck is wet ham? And I finally asked the butcher, and he goes, look, for an extra 30, I'll just lick your ham for you before I put it in a bag. And I was like, all right, that's... So that's, that's the wet the, ham. That's the ham you've been giving me? Yeah. The butcher's been licking it? That's what you asked for. Give me some wet ham. That's what no, I, the I like. No, I like it when it's like shine, like really cold and shiny and a, a loaf. Yeah. So when you turn, when you grind up ham and then make it into a loaf. Yeah. It's got a kind of sliminess to it. That's what I was asking for. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not it at all. So yeah. the, the butcher just licks it. I mean, dude, for 80, he'll dong That's bash not it. How it should have been. He'll wrap it up in that plastic bag and then boom, just dong bash it. And then there you go. That's ham on ham. They call that in the biz. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what is going on? A little, it's ham on ham, James. There's nothing you can do about it. You yep. know? Um, uh, by the way, we finally have a good butcher. <laughs> we do. I, I love that motherfucker. I talk to him all the time. Me too. Yeah. Greatest guy in the world. So, Typically, so nice, butchers so aren't friendly. Happy, yeah, I know they aren't. Nope. So happy, just being a butcher at the Harris Teeter. He's the best dude on the planet. Um, and every time I, sometimes I'm not even getting meats in there, and I'll just roll by and chat with him for a few minutes. Fist bump. What up, yeah. bro? What up, bro? Older guy just had a baby. Yeah. Still happy. What the fuck? I know. How is you know he smiling I mean? like that? How is he smiling like that? I don't know. I think there has to be a level of ignorance, a, a level of intelligence that's right. I don't know. Either that or he goes home and, you know, he's got a, a, a she shed out back, you know, made for his wife. She goes to bed and he goes back there and fucking takes a knife, you know, a fork and knife to his leg. Maybe in cuts off a little piece of himself. Yeah. In her that's she what shed. butchers do. Yeah. In her she shed. And it's just like, cool, you want to treat me like this? I'm going to go out to your she shed and cut off a little, little piece of my thigh and then sew it back on. I'm going to get a little sewing kit. <laughs> Re-sew that back on. Uh, you ever done anything like that? What? Because you, you, you have deep cuts. You do this all the time during cooking. Where I'm like, man, you should go to the fucking hospital and you never do. No, Do you why? sew up your own shit? I've never sewn it up, no. But I've definitely like glued it glued on. Glued it, yeah. Oof. Man, it was that that there was a gash you showed me. It was a real easy joke there that I'm not going to go for for the people at home. There was a, a gash you was showed me. Was it my me. vagina? No, no, it wasn't that gash. Um, it was a gaping wound. Blammo, boom, yep. bang, blammo. There was a wet gaping wound that you showed me that was. Uh, you know, I'm kidding. Yeah, no. But it was like, dude, when you opened that thing up and you were like, hey, should I have gone to the, the hospital for this? I looked at that and I was like, you Jesus said, Christ. Yeah. You said, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't want to see that fucking wound. Well, I was trying to ask, like, do you think. So it was like the whole. Basically, the tip of my finger was gone. It appeared that way. Yes. Yeah. Well, it was. I mean. Yeah. And so you were like, should I have gone? Should I, I was like, it's too late at that point. Yeah. There was blood everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I had to like get up in the middle of the night and like change uh, band aids. You were losing like color in your face. And uh -huh. I was like, are you all right? And, you, and I was like, you probably should have gone to the hospital. And you were like, no, I'm cool, man. No, dude. What are they going to do? If it's something that it's like, what are they going to do? Like when I, I've like broken fingers and it's like, what are you going to do? Give me a fucking brace yeah. that I can get from Rite Aid anyways. Yeah. Like if it's not something that. I definitely need them for yeah. or need them to check and I'll just take care of it. I, I understand that. Right? I guess, yeah. Because you go and then it's like you pay all this money and it's a sprain and they give you a fucking Rite Aid thing to wrap around. You're like, oh, well, I could have fucking done that. Yeah, I could have done that myself. Right? Here's a crutch. Broken rib. Well, I mean, just rest. Okay, oh, thanks. Oh, sweet. Sweet life with Zach and Cody. Why don't you give me some Vicodin, some duct tape? You know? Yeah, because that's the thing. They don't do that anymore, so no. there's really no point. I oh. used to go for random shit because they would just pump, you know, pump a little morphine upon arrival. Oh, yeah. Just to, like, calm you down. And then they go, what's wrong? And you're like, I don't know. I just feel a little 
down. Yeah, I feel a little down on the <laughs> They're insides. They're like, ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. My we in- just gave you like a shit ton of morphine already. My, my insides feel a little down once you yeah. give me some morph. Yeah. So give me some morphine, Mindy. So since that, uh, op- the opiates are off the table, what are they going to do? I don't, man. You can't even stitch that up. It's a fu- it's like the whole tip is gone. Again, what are you going to do? I don't know, man. Opiates are the answer for everything, too. It's true. Um. It's only a crisis if you're a fucking drug addict, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Doing some research for the new book that's uh, the third no- novel. Mm-hmm. Third of, installment. Third installment of uh, the St. James Street James series. I was doing a little uh, opiate research. Sure. Because um, it goes back to China, which all great things do eventually in this life. Yep. And... Uh, yeah, man, you know, I was reading up on it and they were like, oh, it was a fucking problem back then. It's just like, dude, we're thousands of years at this point. What are we going to do to stop it? Why not just let's just grow poppy and, and figure it the fuck out, you know, and then sell that. It'll it'll probably be like the marijuana thing in, in uh, California. Mm-hmm. You make it so available. Nobody <laughs> gives a shit. I doubt it. They're really real scared of it. Who, I mean, there was like it? two stories this morning on Today Show of women telling their story of being addicted to opioids and, you know, to pills and losing everything. Uh, I, maybe if they were more readily available, they wouldn't have lost everything. Is it when you're selling your, your eight year old soccer cleats to get them? Yeah. If you could just get them get with your Norco, insurance, yeah. like we'd all be good. No bigs, right? Yeah. Cause you're not needing to like, yeah. Go into any kind of weird debt huh, for yeah. it. How, much, how much can I get for these, uh, mm-hmm. these soccer cleats? I've got a size size five soccer cleat boys right, right. boys mm-hmm. you give me some you give me some money for this size five soccer cleat boys yeah. what are you gonna do with that money right i'm gonna get some opioids i'm gonna get i'm gonna get some pills inside of me mm-hmm. well i can't give you that money well please i need it i gotta feel good inside just to pick up my son from school today you think he's gonna feel good without those those You're cleats playing on both the, yep, the playing both and the, the and the okay. and the pawn shop dealer. Okay, sorry. That's what go I'm ahead. doing. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, and that's that's kind of where that conversation goes. And then it's like, well, instead of instead of giving me his cleats, why don't you meet me in the back room? Uh-huh. For what? What are we gonna do back there? Well, I feel like we could work something out with your right hand. Uh, all right, I could guess though. So. I need them pills, dog. I need them opioids. I need them. I need them white white pieces of chocolate and then you go back you end up jacking off the pawn shop dealer that's probably why those people are on the today show that's just my guess right Uh, okay yeah um that's why those people are are out there and and there's a crisis is because pawn shop dealers aren't doing their job either Mm -hmm. instead they're just getting handies they're just getting hjs in the back instead of uh letting little ladies sell the the size five size five it's a soccer cream they're Copas. Right. They're Adidas. They're Copas. You know? Yeah. Um, that's just my guess. Other than that, I really don't see the, the, the crises of it. You know? If you made it readily available, who cares? Who gives a shit, right? Yeah. You seem to care. About? Um, about the opioid crisis. You think it's a bigger deal. Have, is there other moms Not in the neighborhood me. that you know or something? like, Or moms in general who are just like, man, I need pills to get through the day? Have, no. It's just oh. me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's yeah, no one yeah. else. Yeah. And even then, you know, it's just to, to have a good time. So here's the difference is they drink and they day drink, right? Yes. So. White Claw. White Claw starting at around noon. Um, By the way, they should call it Caucasian Claw. For sure. I am sick of the racism. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So they drink and then they take shots and stuff pretty much all day and they keep kind of an even little buzz i can't do that right so that's why i need pills for like the daytime fun stuff that i can't i can't drink can't take shots at like noon right you know what i mean yeah yeah. so that's what i need it for and i just keep a little bit of a even you know (laughs) Yeah, so little that onesie twosies throughout drunk the day. People aren't annoying you. That's what I and even when I was bartending, all I needed was enough of a edge taken off that drunk people and stupid people didn't annoy me so Got much. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that I needed to be fucking wasted. Yeah. I just needed because if you're totally sober, those conversations and shit, 
are the most annoying thing of all time, right? Sure, sure. So that's all. Uh, you know what I did see was a, it appeared to be a double white claw. Yeah. That women are having now. And yeah. I was like, so what now the it's a tall boy. Yeah. What the, so they're making tall boys a white claw. That's real. Right. right. So it's only it's a moment away from moms just drinking straight up 40s. Yeah. Of white claw <laughs> out of the thing and having to be like, oh, <laughs> it's a white claw. Man, if they juice that up for Loco style. Um, made, oh, yeah. Made that shit 13 proof. Congratulations. I'd fucking have, I'd drink that shit, too. Yeah. For me, it's I understand just like it. No carbs, no sugars. It is sugar, though. It's fake sugar, right? It's not fake sugar. Is it the good the kind alcohol, that makes you shit yourself? No, it's al- okay. the alcohol is actually fermented from sugar. Ah. So it's sugar alcohol. All right. And the way that they get away with saying there's no sugar is that, do you know what I mean? Well, on so the it's back, not it, it says there's no like carbs a, and sugars, right? It says no carbs and sugars. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm right, right? Yeah. Technically. So that it gives me a headache. I don't know. It's all. I love it's all it. made from sugar and I all love all fake that fake sugar. shit. Yeah. The only the only thing that's ever yeah. shocked my my ding dong in this life mm-hmm. out of all all that fake shit was uh remember they made those Doritos for a while that you, you you shat your pants like right on eating them? Which ones are these? Doritos. Which Doritos? Uh, they made them out of uh Dan, you know what I'm talking about? What's the what's the Yes. Yeah. It was like sucralose or whatever it was. And it was just like, man, it was a greasy shit too. That it was oh. like exploding and, and oh. every, it kept happening to everybody and then eventually pulled them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, uh, like a, you know, carb free, sugar free. Yeah. It's, these taste the same. They tasted similar. I'd give them like probably about 75%. But then, you know, again, when you're sprinting to that, that bowl and it's just, that's how the Atkins stuff is. Whatever the specific that doesn't bother me. Those those bars and shit don't bother yeah, me. Yeah, whatever Atkins. that specific fake sugar is for the Atkins no sugar stuff, right, is not good for me. Yeah, for me, I don't. I don't really have a problem with that. Um, like that's all good and fine in my world, but uh, that those Doritos really rung me up back in the day. I want to say it was maybe. Eight to ten years ago, when those things were hot, and everybody was was getting those, and, and they started they? making other chips with them too, and it was just too much, man. It was Doritos. Yeah, there was Doritos, and uh, uh, man, I want to say Lay's, some form of like Lay's too, and I was just like, okay. oh boy, oh, yeah, it was it was bulls on parade. Sure, sure. With those fucking things, um, man. Uh, we watched the ESPYs last night. Yes. What did you think? Mm, of what part? Yikes. <laughs> um, Tracy Morgan. What do I say about Tracy Morgan? It's like was, I know was, he uh, had a... He, he was bombed. A, he was in a And he's a really coma. funny dude. He had a brain injury. I, I don't think you it know, had anything I, to do with that. I just think okay. that he didn't rehearse enough or prepare. And when you're trying to read rapid fire one-liner jokes off of a teleprompter... It is really fucking tough because it's all timing. And I don't think I ever liked him as a stand-up. I think he, um, you know, in 30 Rock and Saturday Night Live, like yeah. he shines. And, and then when he would go, he went into the crowd a couple times, mm-hmm. talked to players one-on-one, and that was fucking funny, right? Right. I think he's just more of a... Because the way that he fucks with people is hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and his not giving a fuck nature and he is really funny in that way but i think um i've never seen his stand-up right i've never thought of him as a stand-up well that's where he got started and he's been doing it for years and years i and know years. but I, I why did i not I it's know. a de- look it's stand-up's a different form than reading one-liners off of a you know yeah patented boom 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 jokes off of a teleprompter but it seemed like his jokes by the way it did yeah it, it, it wasn't something that a writer like they were Tracy Morgan off the wall weird shit. So he wrote them. That's what I mean. Yeah, and the weird thing is, is you and I talked about this. Like, as I think it was Danica Patrick that hosted the year before. Yeah, and she was great. She was good. Um, there's certain weird people because yeah. she's so dry. Yeah, I I understand why she's dating Aaron Rodgers because the both of those motherfuckers are just the driest people on the planet. And, totally. Uh, but they were great, and they did that sketch together last year. It was great. To me, there was nothing memorable about this. Mm-mm. Um. The uh, the U.S. women's team, the more they ship that Rapino chick out there, it's going to really start to drag on them. Uh, yeah. Man, because I like them. 
And yeah. I like the the whole shit. And I like uh, the Morgan chick who won. Um, but man, they're putting her front and center for all this shit. And it's just like, yeah, let's let's ease off the gas on her. I'm, I'm all done it's with her. It's rough. The uh, other girl won. Yes, Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. We should, yeah, you're saying put more of her out there, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. She's. A, we could look at her for, we, for, she's a, for a while. Easy on the eyes. Easy on the eyes. Uh, and, I'm, and probably easy on the thighs. Uh, Rob nope. Mendez, the um, high school coach mm-hmm. in the wheelchair. Gra- great. I mean, come on. It was, was fantastic. Just, and I remember yeah. seeing his special the whole when it story aired uh, on Sports Center. Yeah. Maybe. Three or four months ago. And it's insane. It's insane. The guy couldn't be used, any more inspiring. Yeah. And it was amazing. And you were like, all right, cool. And then you had Tracy Morgan. I'll get you pregnant. Right. So so it, that did what... Th- there's always something in the SBs that make me go like... Do you tear stop, up? Stop. Tear yeah. up and just go like, stop complaining. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you're good. You are good. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Um, and that, so in that sense, the ESPYs did what they always do for me, which is something like that. Right. Yeah. And, and just go like, Jesus fucking Christ. So did Tracy, <laughs> what? A lot. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what? You just go like, no, you just go, what the fuck is my problem? <laughs> like, what am I complaining about? This guy literally. No, you're right. Has a hundred percent. Arms or legs. Yeah. 100%. Has never played football in his life. And somehow. Is a head coach of a of a high school football team. He's great, and everybody loves him. Worked it out. Super inspirational. Out. But um, but the rest of it. So uh, the women's team won. Yeah. Uh, which Obviously, congratulations. Yes. There was some other weird ones that I was just like, man, it seemed like more and more in all these award shows. And I don't know if you feel the same way. They're going out of their way to give women awards, where it's just like, hey, man, that was definitely not the the best either performance or thing so like last night there was a a girl who won who gave her entire speech as a poem poem and it was about her body and it was like Mm -hmm. she was in a tight she's a gymnast and she was dancing around sexy or whatever the viral the the video went viral was she in that nasser thing or no she wasn't and that's the other thing um she wasn't in that so Mm -hmm. she gets up and wins but she won it and this was just like a, a essentially a video that had gone viral. It's not like she won the fucking Olympics or anything Mm -hmm. that beat Kawhi Leonard's game winning shot. The one that hit the rim four times in a game seven, the only shot to win a game seven at the buzzer. Mm -hmm. What? Like, what the fuck was that? That was the play of the year. I mean, and that was the photo of the year. Remember that photo of Kawhi Leonard squatting down and everybody looking on as that ball bounced four times in the air and then finally went down in game seven to go to the championship of the Eastern Conference Finals? Like, I I can't believe it. And then she gets up there with her dumb poem of, don't look at my body. Don't objectify me. Mm -hmm. Don't do this. Don't Mm -hmm. do that. Don't Mm -hmm. do it. It's the fucking internet, bro. That's, you know. Right. So, I, look, you shouldn't have been up there in the first place. I think somebody must have called her because it wasn't the moment of the year for sure. No. It wasn't the best play Mm-mm. of the year by Mm-mm. any fucking stretch. Mm-mm. I think somebody called her from ESPN and said, hey, you're going to win. Otherwise, why write out a five-minute poem and rehearse it? Okay. And Kawhi Leonard Don't wasn't you even think there. They- yeah, so he must have known. They all must have known. It must be yeah. like an MTV Movie Awards sitch. I think it's with all of them, right? Like, I don't except know. for maybe the Oscars, Oscars, Golden Globes, the Golden you don't Globes. Know. But I think with a lot of those, they a need to make sure you're gonna go. Yeah. Right. So it's the Oscars. It's like they're gonna go. If you're not gonna be there, that's your fucking bad, right? Right. But with that, they need to make sure you're gonna be there. Yep. And um, so I do think they know. Nobody was surprised. You know no. what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think it is like the smaller award shows where they have to make sure <laughs> the guess, people that no. they're nominating are going to show up. You can't have too many people like, I'm accepting the award on behalf of, because he's not fucking here, right? Yeah, but I mean, look, Kawhi Leonard plays in L.A. The award show was in L.A. He could have, you know, he just signed with L.A. He could have been there to fucking take that thing. Uh, but the rest of it was just kind of, it was a snooze fest. And I usually like the SBs. Yeah. But I just didn't, I just think, I didn't think most of the right awards were... Won by the right people. Yeah. Again, in this age of wanting to include everybody and not offend anybody, mm-hmm. you're not giving it to the best people anymore for any of this shit. 
Um, so anytime there was an award and then I would see all the nominees, I'm like, okay, what are they going to do here? So it was never, you know, back in the day, it was just like, who was the best? Yeah. And now you're kind of looking at the nominees going, what is going to be their play here as far as who they're picking? Right. Politically. Right. And you just kind of guess, like, you're just, all right, are they going to give this one to the guy? Is this one going to go to the girl? Cause it's a small, you know what I mean? Yeah. Strange, strange. But I, I think that's going to happen more and more. And it's just like, I, I find myself, cause we used to watch this shit all the time, all these award shows. Mm -hmm. And I find myself less and less checking out of it because I, I feel like, all right, if you can guess the race and the gender, I think after then you Oscar, can probably get the, the, the get the award. Yeah. You know? I think after Oscar so white, it just sort of made me feel bad, you know? For everyone or just for award shows? You just shows feel in bad. General? So even you you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it's an uncomfortable situation now because you feel bad because yeah, these people have been marginalized, but then it's like, how do we correct it? by giving it to people that maybe didn't do the best, but this is what we got to do to kind of level the playing field. So where we are right now is just sort of a, a gimme, right? right. Until it gets to the point where we can just be like, all right, we're good now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we did that. Now everybody has kind of won the things yeah. and now we can go back to the best people winning it, whoever that may be. And sometimes it is the women and sometimes it is, men and sometimes they're white and black i don't know do you know what i mean i think we're out of that that stage altogether forever i really do it's never going to go back nope. to the best do, whoever the best yeah. the, the best is i really don't and and look you awards know, are always subjective it. anyways we had it in the bag for a long time so hey yeah <laughs> that's all over now james that's all over now but we had a good run didn't we that's all the whites, over now. the whites we had a good run yeah oh, i yeah. did because i'm a woman i'm still uh getting my you're what on my gimmies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Mm hmm. Yeah. You can always say that. I'm on I, this can't, show. I can't say anything. I wouldn't be on the show if it was. I can't say anything as a, as a white man. No. Your time is done. Time's up. And you again, you <laughs> had a good run. Don't you feel or no? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't win any awards, you know, like. I Not you personally, that. no, but your kind. Yeah, the, the your species. Yeah, the, the, the race your in general. Your race and gender, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So And you just take, you know, take pride in that, take part in that, and then that's over. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You won't get a, you you are not allowed to get another award. No. And just get that out of your mind. Never no. gonna happen. Never won one. So never won one. Yeah, but you know. Nominated for two. Uh never won a one zero. I was 0 for two. Who'd you lose to? Uh, I lost to Ben Kingsley. Okay. Um, Older, white male. <laughs> who's, the, who's the other one? Uh, lost to? It was an MTV Movie Award, and I forget who won that. You remember. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. It was, a white, it, was a white, it was a white male. Okay. I, I checked out male the day before right. once they told me I hadn't won. Oh, okay. And we've, we've talked about this on a yeah, previous yeah, yeah. show. Once they called me and said, hey, man, you didn't win. Do you want to give up your tickets? And I was like, no, I'd flown my whole family out for the NCB Movie Awards. Oof. Once I've, when they called and said, hey, you didn't win, I was just like, oh, fuck. I didn't really care, honestly. Um, and I, I remember just kind of wandering through like the, the lobby um, as the award show is going on, uh, you know, because you're not in, in it anymore at that point. You're just like, I'm mm -hmm. here. And I, yeah, I was looking for a bar. Sure. Where I can get really stiff drinks. There you go. And uh, I, I, uh, I'll take some heat for this, but it's fine. Um, Coldplay was playing, who mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to take heat for, is that I, I actually yep. love Coldplay. Yep. Um, but they were playing, and you know how happy and amazing they oh, are live and, and all that like, shit. Uh, totally. And all of the, the shit flew down, oh, you know, the poppers the and the, yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, man. And the confetti and the big balloons. If I had won an award tonight. This would be amazing. The best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best. But, uh, But no. that goes with my theory, too, that it, when you're feeling bad like that, good things like good weather. Yeah. Good, like, happy things make you feel even worse. You really just want to like go into a heroin den yeah. with somebody. You don't want to necessarily do heroin, but you want to be in the like gross guy's apartment yeah, 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 with yeah. the mattress on the floor. You'll drink and oh, just be easily. like, this makes me feel about right. Easily. This is what I'm feeling. 
I don't want any happiness. You know, you know, what was brutal too was uh, my buddy won that night, and I had to pretend to be happy for him the rest of the night when I was just like, "Oh, quit!" No, for real. What I was just you weren't happy for him. How much can I say about this? I think you were younger. I think now you would be. I would be now. Yes, that definitely comes with age. You get rid of that probably that that thing of other people can't be happy if I'm not happy. You get rid of that when you're older. But you're right. It was just a different feeling at the after parties when you were just like, all right, cool. The only saving grace was they don't give you. You don't get to. You don't get the award, so you have to hand it back, Mm -hmm. um, and then they ship it to you like a month later. Okay. So at least he couldn't hold it up at the thing and like have it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But his director. It was a real cocksucker. Um, it was just like, oh, you, he was telling everybody, you know, we won tonight. We won oh, the award God. for this or whatever. And I was just like, it's OK to hate that guy, by the come way. Come on, man. Yeah. Just not your buddy. Come on, man. Uh, but yeah, um, it was a weird, fun night looking back on it. Like a bunch of people went on and do some really cool shit. So it was just like, eh. yeah. all right, cool. Definitely not like that anymore. But mm-hmm. uh, my buddy, when he got it. At the award, like he got the thing, um, he was still living. Uh, it's pretty funny. He was living in an apartment in a valley, still. Yeah. So it's not like they give you money for the no, MTV no, no. You don't get award. You, yeah. you don't get it. And uh, so it was, it was in, it was on his shelf. Like he built a separate shelf for it, which is awesome. And we had a running joke of like what we would do with the thing. And he's not as arrogant as I am, obviously, but sure. I, cause I would have had a trip wire no one is, yeah. for Dr. Feel good. Only like the drum solo for uh, Tommy Lee. So when you come in it it rises up from the floor um, in a glass case and then there's a, a light that beams down. So like, but everybody has to stand back. Like where you're just like, Hey, sure. Hey guys, wait. So the award yeah. fully rises yeah. up yeah. out of the ground yeah. and then lands and then you can walk around it because I wanted it to be in the middle and I said about six feet in from the actual door itself. Mm-hmm. And the reason being is six feet in is not enough. Like you have to walk around it. So you have to physically stare at the award and then walk around it to the right. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Where it was just like, oh, sorry. Was that, was that, was that there? I apologize for that. I had no idea. Excuse me. Oh, guys, yeah. guys, how embarrassing. I have the, my builder didn't speak any English oh, and that's gosh. what he just did he for must everyone. Have done this oh (laughs) i'm gonna have to talk to him guys i'm so sorry yeah a lot of that oh Uh, oh oof um but the the people who put awards in like the toilet and all that stuff that's that's true i've been to a few parties house parties where i saw an oscar on somebody's toilet um i saw one of them i i'm not gonna say which musician it was and won a shit ton of grammys and uh they they had five of them in their bathroom. So and two of them were bookending rolls of toilet paper. Love it. And it was really funny. And I was just like, all right, cool, man. Um, and I brought it up later. I was like, hey, was that on purpose? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, if you can't make fun of yourself for and sure. the whole thing, like, if you take those things super serious, you're an idiot. Totally. So it, it was pretty funny. But those some of those stories are true. Where you're like, all right, cool. Then there are the people who are just like, man, there was someone's house that I went to who won an Oscar and. It was in case, almost exactly like I said, special lights that were coming in like five different directions where I had to turn around. I was like, where the fuck is that light coming from? Dead serious. I was just like, ah, all right, cool, man. I get, I get, and I get that too, I guess. Right. You know, that, that's the crowning achievement in life. Like, shit, you might as well be proud of it. Absolutely. If that's what, you, if that's what it is for you, yeah. do it. Yeah. Good for you. Um. Let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? What are you humming over there, Jabes? Oh, all the lights. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's a lovely rendition you were singing right there. <laughs> I'm just, okay, go ahead. Um, this one goes out to a special little lady. Uh, she is a British media personality, a businesswoman, and an activist. Uh, her name is Heather Ann Mills. She was born oh on what? Jesse, what? Born oh, had to be. on January 12th, 1968. Ooh, an older yeah. gal. Um, Mills came to public attention when she was a model in 1993 and involved in a collision with police with a police motorcycle in London. The accident resulted in the amputation of her left leg below the knee, but she continued to model. So, um, you know. You know. 
Heather Ann Mills. She did it. Right. She did it. Oh, they have a kid together too, huh? Her and Paul McCartney. Sure. Um, because it was a nasty split, by the way. It was a nasty divorce. She got a lot of fucking money out of that. Oh yeah, I think that was at the time the highest, right? Before all this other close. Shit. Someone I I know Harrison Ford's was mega. Um, yeah, I I think I think so, man. And then obviously Bezos is the you know. We should give it out to. We should also give a co-revolutionary figure of the day to Heather McKenzie. Didn't Talk about Heather the two Mills highest like divorces say that he was time. abusive or something? Yeah, but I I don't know if any of that was true. Where she was just trying to get cash. Where right. it was just like, hey. So because that's the thing is the... you can you can talk shit until somebody throws enough cash at you to shut the fuck up. So right. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. The reason why she's she's revolutionary. If if this comes with a, an asterisk next to it. If she can somehow sleep with Mick Jagger this weekend in New Orleans, if she can fight through flood Look. and rain with the leg on a raft, somehow able to get in a mixed hotel room. Congratulations. Absolutely. That would be amazing because I don't know anybody else who's had sex with Paul McCartney and Mick Jagger. I'm sure there are people out there. Oh, yeah. I just don't know their names. And that's on me. Sure. You know? Sure. As a husband, a lover. An amateur geologist, a scientist. Uh, that's on me for not knowing. Right. So, to Heather Mills, wherever you are out there, hold that leg up proud. And, paddle, uh, paddle hard. Paddle hard through the streets of New Orleans. Get to Mick, because we're not going to. Yeah, we're not. Uh, maybe we are. We don't know. Um, but again, we're recording this on Thursday. Uh, this will be the Sunday night drop subscribe on youtube uh just type in ross patterson revolution that'll bring you right to the channel created a media company so it's it's our show drinking bros and uh we're hopefully uh, we hope to add some shows in the future to the media company that would be lovely uh but we're now up and running uh, yeah. again thank you for your suggestion for the picture behind us of smoking affleck that is up in adam and uh if you want anything else on this show let me know let me know. Or anyone off. Let me know. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Get in the boot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.